Hey, what's up, guys? Jonathan here with Florida Turf Bros. Uh, this is probably going to be a controversial video, uh, but that's okay. Uh, nevertheless, I want to go ahead and just plug through it because uh, it came from a, a question that a subscriber named Jared had asked me last week. And Jared had asked me, you know, what do we do during the winter time? And I'm going to talk about in this, that in this video, you know, but before you start smashing the dislike button, I would just ask that you hear me out to the end of the video uh, before you make up your mind on, uh, you know, what is right for me and what is right for you in your personal situation. So before we move forward, I'd like uh, everybody to agree on, on two things, okay? The first thing that I would like you to agree with me on is that money is a replenishable resource, okay? If you understand sales and income and how to, you know, how to generate those things, then money is replenishable. You can keep making more and more of it, okay? That's never going to go away. The second thing that I would like you to agree with me on is that time is a non-replenishable resource, okay? It doesn't matter if you're Jeff Bezos, if you are Mark Cuban, if you're Bill Gates, it does not matter, okay? The one thing that we all have in common with those guys is none of us are getting time back. So therefore, to me, time is the absolute most precious resource that we all have. So agree with me on those two things. Money is replenishable, time is not. That being said, going back to the question that uh, Jared had asked me, what do we do during the winter? Uh, well, Jared, you know, most people, what they do is, is they work their entire lives, you know, from 20 till 60 or 65. Uh, and, and it looks something like this. Okay, guys, so uh, this is what most people are going to do. They're going to start working around 20. They're going to work through their 40s, 50s, 60, 65. And they're going to get from 65 until about 80, 85 if they're lucky, okay? So they work their whole life in here, uh, and they get to enjoy the fruits of their labor right here, okay? Now, there is nothing inherently wrong with that. Uh, many people work their entire life away. That's the way 90% of Americans do it. There's a lot to be said for hard work, and again, I'm not, not downplaying that and saying that that is a wrong way to do it. I just have chosen to do something differently here. Let me show you what I have chosen to do. Okay, guys, so if you just look here uh, and just look at each one of these sections as basically a year. Here's another year. Here's another year. Here's another year and so forth, okay? What I have chosen to do is, is to break our year up into thirds. We're working for two-thirds of the year, and we're basically taking time off for one-third of the year. Now, one of the biggest criticisms that you're going to uh, hear with something like that is people look at the, the downtime of taking time off and they say, oh my God, you know, you're just, you're just blowing through your winter fun and you're wasting all that time. It's just lost productivity. And yeah, yeah, you know, I, I get it. I've heard that argument before. But for me, if we're going back to the original um, point that we agreed on, that time is the most precious resource that we have and money is replenishable, why would we not inject time, the most important thing, into our life right now? That is my argument. <laughs>
turned out.